Hello, welcome back to the goalie, be a pro. Uh, my voice, you know, still, still questionable. We'll see how it holds up here, but you know what? It held up last video that I just finished recording, so hopefully it'll hold up in this one as well. We currently have a 244 GAA, 912 save percentage, and the team is fourth in the league. Things are going pretty good for the Edmonton Oilers this year. If we check out the lines for the team... Probably not much has changed. We've got Nuge, McDavid, and Yamamoto. We've got Pool Party with Dreisaitl and Duran. And yeah, it's all the exact same. So not much to really look at there. We got Darnell Nurse and Tyson Berry as our top pair. And then Bouchard, Giordano, Grays Hall. And in that, we've got TJ. Mm-hmm. And then we've got Pavel as well. TJ at the uh, age of 19. Starting goaltender. Love to see it. Okay, so... Got Detroit. Coming up here first, our first matchup of the day. Let's see how this one goes. First period. Ooh, okay, we're down by one. Zadina gonna score. Second period. Ooh, we get two. One from McLeod and one from Barabanov. Yeah, we'll jump into this one. This one seems okay. I remember how upset everyone was when Detroit's reverse retro came out. Everyone was kind of like doing that stick meme where they're like poking something and saying do something. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about them. They're kind of cool, I guess. They look pretty nice as a full uni. But, I mean, they're definitely nothing special, that's for sure. I mean, I guess some of the other jerseys aren't spectacular either. But there, there did come some gems from this whole reverse retro thing. Again, I don't know if you can hear my stomach, but holy crap, it is fuming. It's like, literally, feed me right now. Or screw you. Here come the wings. And that will be broken up by Nurse. He's been playing phenomenal lately, I must say. Back to Moritz. Who goes down low to Raymond. Zadina. Wow. Okay. Very happy that that hit the post. I'm going to hug the post. Thank you, post, for being my mate. Okay. Beautiful. No goal. <laughs> Although, the puck did beat me. Here we go, Dreisaitl. Let's, uh, let's, let's... Up those points a little bit, you know? You could you could use it. I don't want to be that guy and call you out or anything, but you are kind of 95 overall with franchise potential, and you're only putting up, what was it, like 40 points or 39 points in 54 games or something like that. So, yeah, we need some more production from you, Leon. I don't want to be that guy, but I will be if I have to, and I must, because someone has got to say something. Big stop there on the pass in the middle. And now Druen has it. Goes around the net. And beautiful pass in the middle to Dreisaitl, who has three Detroit Red Wings smothering him for some reason. But he manages to make a nice pass. Giordano takes a low shot. It'll be kicked away. And now the puck is in the neutral zone. But the Oilers back on the attack here. Giordano going to cough it up. And now we have... A counterattack from the Detroit Red Wings, or do we? Wow, we're doing a real good job of shutting them down. Verona with it. He's over the line. He's going to take a shot. He's going to take a shot. I knew it! Smother that. All right. Well, the 2-1 lead remains for now. And things are looking good for the Oilers here because I feel like we're putting up a lot of pressure. Face off to the right of Timothy Jimothy. Will we get a W from Dano? Yes, we will. A clean win. Back to the defenseman and a seamless breakout with a good old-fashioned dump and chase hockey play. Holy crap, textbook hockey going on out there right now. Rasmussen, he's in. Ooh, good poke check from Bouchard to break that one up. Puck comes out to Giordano in the middle to Hyman. That was risky, but a great pass. And another great hockey play. Are you kidding me with this line? Oh, no. Was that five hole? Did he really just do that? Don't tell me he just jockeyed me. Oh, I need... Oh, it's not going to show a replay, is it? No, it's not. Okay, well... I'll do it myself, then. I think he did go 5-hole, though. I think it just came out, and... Yeah, like, I had the whole angle cut off, and he just ripped it between the mini-wheats. That is unfortunate. Okay, well, I guess... I maybe could have dropped down a bit sooner, but I didn't expect that to happen, so... <laughs> I wasn't exactly prepared... To go down on the pillows, but apparently I should have been. Tie hockey game. It is now 2-2. Oh, no. 
There's a save. I'll smother that. Pass it out to you, Nuge, who is open. Goes in the middle to Geo, who passes it up to McDusty. Mm, are we going to have an offside? No, we are not. Cross ice to Nuge, who's about to get rocked. Wow, dude, that's like a charge. Zadina just charged Nuge, and the ref's like, nah, that's allowed. Brutal. Can I get there on time? No, I cannot. No, I cannot. Get back in the net. Oh, back to Edvinson, who takes a shot just wide of the net. Big hit from Moritz to keep the puck in as well. Down low it goes. All right, I got to play smart here. I got to position myself a little bit better than I was. <laughs> Literally, even as I was saying that, my positioning wasn't great. But we didn't end up facing a shot, so we're safe for now. But probably not for long. Here comes Raquel. Gonna get rocked against the boards. Juren in the Detroit zone. Takes a shot that somehow almost went in, it looks like. That comes all the way around, though. Now Fabry is in. Oh, my word, Barry, you legend. Thank you for intercepting that. That was probably a goal otherwise. Draw win for the Oilers. Nice passing between the defensemen. Oh, you're joking. The puck is off the post for the second time in this game. Uh, Detroit hit it earlier. And now we have matched them. One each. Deno picks up the loose puck and he is skating down the ice. And look at this guy go with these hockey plays. Dumps it in. And now Detroit coming back the other way. Edvinson with it. Gets it to Verona in the neutral zone. There's a battle going on. A big one. Verona and Deno going head to head there. Uh, no, I'm not coming out for that. Way to get there, Nurse. That was a hustle and a half from him. And now we have... Zone entry for the Oilers, but Cam Talbot going to save that one and pass it out. But the ref with a little bit of a premature whistle there, if I do say so myself. Let's go, Yams. Nice pass in the middle. There's a wide open net, but their defense was there to collect that puck and make sure that we are not going to get back in the lead here. We're in the last minute already? Holy crap, where did the time go? Valeno has it along the boards, gets rocked. And now McDavid with it. Did they keep it in? Oh my word, they kept it in. That was incredible on their behalf. But doesn't matter because we got the puck right back out again. Let's go, Nuge. Nice pass, but what a save from Cam Talbot again. Doing everything he can to keep his squad in it for sure. Dreisaitl. Oh no, Druen. Let's go. No pool party. What are you doing? Why would you take so long to shoot that? That could have easily been the game on your twig. And you blew it. Wow. All right. Two very, very good opportunities there that were just absolutely not <laughs> capitalized on whatsoever. I don't know what they were thinking. But yeah, they just didn't want to shoot it right away for some reason. We're still getting some great pressure here, though. And now it looks like Detroit might get the puck out. They do, in fact, get the puck out. Bouchard... Puts it back in the Detroit zone, but Hronik will be there for that one. And now Fabry over to Raquel, who enters the zone. Verona with it now. And he passes to Raquel, who just misses the net. And overtime will be the conclusion to this game. Well, maybe a shootout, but I guess that's still kind of overtime. You know what I mean? McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Barry. What an intimidating three-on-three -three tandem. I don't know what this... I guess, yeah. A group, if you will. Dreisaitl puts it on net. And now McDavid trying to hustle, but Barry pinching all the way from the point to come get that one. Now McDavid hands it off to Dreisaitl. Let's go, Oilers. Come on. What a play. I mean, that one was kind of right into Talbot's chest, so not, not going to really credit him too much on that save. But still, still a good opportunity for the Oilers. Let's see if we can get a draw win here. Win that back to Barry, and it's it's game over. Ah, uh, oh well. It's Adina coming back this way now. He's going to get stood up by Barry. And McDavid has it behind the net. He gets pinned by Valeno. Squeaks out to Barry on the wing. And now Barry breaking down the left side of the ice here. Goes for a pass in the middle, but Zadina going to block that. And now he's carrying it back the other way. He's in, goes for a clapper. Holy smokes. 
Just misses the net. Let's go, Connor. Come on. He's in. Yeah. Back to Dreisaitl. And Talbot with another save, man. What is going on? We just refuse to change this line. McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Barry still out there. And it looks like they still have the same line out as well. Barry once again stepping up. And getting the puck in the neutral zone. And now he... What are you doing? What was that? Please win it. My goalie's broken? Okay, never mind. We're okay. I'm pretty sure he did just break his leg, though. McDavid, one-on-one. One-on-one. -on -one. One -on -one. And he does nothing with it. Brutal. Moritz coming back the other way for Detroit now. He's in. That is shot. And I'll pass that out to Bouchard after a quick little stop there. Off the one-timer slash redirect. Not really sure what it was, but either way, the puck was saved. And Detroit again. Why did he slide so far to the right there? That was very unexpected. Looks like we're finally getting a line change, though, with like a minute to go. Robbie Fabry, back for it, back with it for Detroit. There we go. That makes a little bit more sense. Ronick goes in, and Yamamoto going to be there to break it up. Thank you, sir. Behind our net, McDavid is still out there, actually. Is he going to be out there for the whole overtime? Nice. Going to the power play. Cool. I was trying to figure out who took that penalty, but it... Referee, are you going to take that? He just bodied you and you went flying. Okay, so Mr. Announcer guy that calls him Mock David or whatever, just called him Robbie Fabri. He's not Fabriz, dude. I'm pretty sure it's Robbie Fabri, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this guy's right. Okay, what a shot from the Nuge. Big W for the Edmonton Oilers. 35.3 remaining in this overtime period and no shootout, thankfully, because of our boy... Ryan Nugent Hopkins. He's going to bury that shot. Let me, let me see the replay here. Or not. That's cool, too. Didn't want to see it anyway. So they had 27 shots. Actually, both goalies played quite well there. And boom. There it is. The OT winner. Love to see it. Okay. Let's get out of here. McLeod. Look at that guy go. Seems to be doing pretty good. Cleaning the ice. Is that what you're doing? What's up, James? What's going on around the league? Let me know. On the ice tonight. Let's take a look at what happened elsewhere. Yeah, let's do it. Wings were hoping to play spoiler against the Oilers. Didn't get saves category. That's okay. In the extra frame to Made it for overall. Can't complain. The Devils went toe to toe on the road against the Canadians. Montreal treated everyone to a magical. Well, yeah, Montreal is like first in the league or whatever, so I'm not really surprised they just rinsed well, fun, the New Jersey Devils. Job. Nah, James, I've had enough of you already. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll give you another chance later on, maybe. But for now, I've had enough. San Jose Sharks. Boom. Ooh, not good. Uh, mmm. Um. Yeah, I'm going to jump into this one. I'm going to jump into this one. Then I'll just sim the games again afterwards. Uh, you know what? I want to give that other jersey another, another shot. Because last game didn't go so well. But, you know what? This time it's going to be... It's going to be it. This is the one. And there we go. Yeah, absolutely. What is their alternate? Okay, reverse retro. Yeah, you can wear those. That works. I'm only just now realizing that they have Nathan McKinnon. I would love to know how that happened. Would he? There's no way he would have been a free agent by now. Would he? How long is left on that guy's contract? No clue. I feel like they would have had to have traded for him, though. Anyway, that's like the first big sort of move I feel like I've seen in this Be a Pro. Good offense already from the Edmonton Oilers. We already got a very solid chance. What a hit. Wow. Nuge just got run over. That was incredible. He, like, let it happen, too. He basically watched it unfold in front of his eyes. Saw the guy coming and just didn't do anything. Oh, man. I made the initial save, but the guy streaking in for the rebound. Kevin LeBanc was able to pick it up and bury it. Unfortunate. Druen has a clear path. That was a good shot attempt. But another great save from these goaltenders that we're going up against. Sorokin going to make a glove stop. And we have a face-off. Does he actually play that low normally? Like, wouldn't that hurt? <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, he's kind of standing more vertical now. Another save on the blocker, even though he was screened, I believe. Very down low to Dreisaitl. And that will 
make a battle ensue, but Drysaddle will ultimately get it again. A point shot from Barry is steered aside. And now Carlson behind the net passes it up to Donato, who's in over the Edmonton Oilers zone. In over their zone. Yeah, I'm like so hungry to the point that my English is breaking again. So have fun with that for the rest of this video. Another great chance for Dreisaitl, but a save once more. Their goalie is making a ton of stops. I don't even know who's in net for them right now. I didn't really look, but I'm definitely going to find out as soon as I can. Below the Edmonton Oilers goal line. Okay. Off the post. I probably should have hugged the post there. That would have been one of the situations where it might have been ideal to do that. But thankfully, the puck didn't go in, so... We still only have one goal led up here in this third. Nice try. What was I doing, man? Like, what is my positioning there? I gotta smarten up. I gotta get my act together. This game is not a good one so far for TJ. Brutal, as a matter of fact. Nate Mac battling with Bouchard back and forth. Holy. They are just constantly being like, my puck, no my puck. <laughs> and basically not even moving either. They were just sitting in one spot. Constantly going back and forth with who had possession. Great job, Giordano. What a stellar play from you. I shouldn't be saying anything. I'm playing horrendous back here. But you know what? I'm just going to poke a little fun because I can. In the middle to Nate Mack. That shot will not get through. And here go the Oilers. McDavid dumps it in. We have a hustling Ryan Nugent Hopkins to get there. But... The San Jose Sharks still able to make the breakout and come back this way. Now LeBanc. Ooh, that goes off the glove. Now Nate Mack with it. He gets pinned. Nuge in to help. And that works out. But no, it doesn't because... Was that Nuge again? He's just getting bullied this game. Holy smokes. It's like the second big hit on him. Ilya Sorokin. Okay, so Sorokin is their goaltender. I'm literally just finding out now. It took this long. There's the bench. In case anyone wanted to see it. And, oh, I forgot I could do this. How you doing? Kind of cool. Dry sidle. Can you win that back to Giordano? That is the real question. Yes, you can. Giordano takes a shot, and that will be wide of the net, unfortunately. Still battling for it, though. Let's go, Oilers. Come on. Come on. Could have been a big hit. Could have been. Also, okay, this guy. It's Sammy Blay, apparently. Not Blaze. I don't know what's going on. This game is just an absolute meltdown. You know what? If they're not pulling me, I'm probably just going to leave. Oh, I got pulled. Yeah, okay. What a tragic performance. Absolutely tragic. All right, let's it was an off night. It was an off night for sure. Yeah, not tonight. good. The Sharks took to the ice to battle the Oilers. It's going to happen San sometimes, Jose you know? It's going to happen. With a strong offensive display. The Predators were looking to steal on? two against the Blackhawks. Chicago Obviously, they're important. The oh, my word. Don't make me make a promise. Okay, team. Yes. Managed to avoid a follow-up. That's a W in my book. To get the w. Hey, we got to pay a couple of bills here, but we got a lot more couple of bills, eh? Stay with us. Well, um, we're going to pretend that game never happened. Vancouver, our next opponent here. First period. Oh, yeah. Second period. Okay. Third? Oh, okay. I'll jump into this overtime. Let's do that to replace the unfortunate game that just occurred. Those jerseys are cursed. I'm never wearing them again, by the way. We're done with those. I, mean, I haven't just worn like the regular home jerseys in a while, so I'm going to try those out. And let me try to find the Flying V if they have that. I think they should. It's going to be a lot older. It's going to be even older than this. Those jerseys just remind me of Marcus Naslund. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there they are. Uh, you can wear that one. Sure. Boom. If we can do good here, then this is going to be like a massive W. It's going to be a dub in the sense that, you know, we bounce back from that awful performance that I just had, which I kind of need right now. That was not it. <laughs> that was not it, Chief. And on top of that, it's the Vancouver Canucks, the team that put us out in the playoffs last year. And they had... Just goal scoring on me down to a science. They figured it out. And they were able to score on me like there was not even a goaltender here. So, definitely going to be a big achievement 
and very satisfying if we are able to pull out a W here in this overtime. So hopefully we can do that. Hughes gets it in the middle. That will be kicked aside. Besser goes back to Petey. I can't see what's going on so much all at once. And this is only three on three too. Petey with another low shot. And that will find its way behind our net. Not hugging the post. No way he gets that again. Come on, guys. We got to get this puck out here. This is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. The amount of pressure that is on us at this point in time. What a glove save. <laughs> Passing that out to Barry was the move. I had to do it. McDavid going to get nudged off the puck by Hughes, who loses it right back to McDavid. What a play by him to go back and get that. Dry sidle down low. What a save. Oh, my days. I thought that was it. Thought it was good night, Jim Kite, but no. Great save from their netminder. McDavid in again. And Petey will be the one to knock him off the puck this time. What is he doing? I think Petey's like broken. That was weird. But anyway, a uh, little bit of power play action here. That's good. Okay, let's do this thing. Puck is coming down the ice. Let's try to get some team play. Pass that this way. Please get there. Thank you. Bouchard headmans it to Kyler, who manages to get the pass off before getting destroyed, and we almost scored. Nuge loses it down low. Ekman Larson has it behind the net, gets it to Horvat, and that will be coming behind the net once more. I'll pass that over to you, because there is no one in that direction. At least, I mean, you're there, but no one from the other team. You know what I'm saying? Yamamoto to Bouchard, tries to take a shot, and here it comes again. Wow, they're doing a good job of killing this thing right now. All right. Attaboy, TJ. One minute to go. Oh, so basically we're on the power play for the rest of this overtime, essentially. So that's nice. Hopefully, we can score. That would be splendid. OEL sending it down the ice. And I'm just going to barely reach that before Bouchard beat me out to it. Here we go, Nuge. In the middle to Yamamoto, but Silovs. Okay, um... Silovs? Not sure. Either way, haven't heard of him before, but he's playing pretty good back there, must admit. Need a big draw from you, Drysaddle. He has 42 points. Seems like... He... No, he hasn't really picked it up, actually. He's still slacking. Big draw win. No, they get it. And down the ice it goes yet again. My team play is going to be on another level after this one. With all these passes going on. McDavid and Drysaddle back out. And they have the man advantage. It's got to be over here. It has to be. No way this goes to a shootout. McDavid with a big hit. And down it comes again. Okay. We only have 15 seconds to go. You know what? Oh, never mind. I'm not even going to get it. Barry's going to get it. Passes it to Dreisaitl. This is our last chance, lads. Five seconds to go. Oh, it's done. All right. Shootout time it is. Let's see how this one goes. Not excited. What, a, what at all? I love when I do that. It's my favorite thing. I was going to say whatsoever and at all. And it became what at all. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, let's jump in. This video has just been one of those. You know what I mean? All right, Petey. I got to start it off with it. I got to start it off with the flying poke check. Get out of here. I actually hit that with the twig, too. Sent that flying. Dry sidle. Is he going to try to go for a cheeky one-hander again? He's in. Oh, he hits the post. Unfortunate. Nice try, though. Great effort. All right, Hughes. And he's in. Big glove save. Big glove save. I thought he had me beat there, but I just managed to reach back for it. All right, McDavid is in. And okay. I think you could do a little bit better than that, not going to lie. Broccoli. Broccoli. He's in. Beats me on the glove side. Yeah. I'm not very good at shootouts. I'm just not. Unless I do a flying poke check every time. Here we go. This guy tried to go between the legs. What a savage. Oh, well. It's a shootout. What can you do? Still a solid game overall. All right, lots of wild happenings. Lots of wild tonight. happenings. Let's take a look at some of the scores of what went down. The Canucks had an on oh. with the Oilers. Vancouver persevered. Okay, we're all green at least. That's nice. What was my team play? Win. B plus. The Kraken paired up with the Panthers. Sim to next Seattle game. Seattle torches the opposition with a big offense. Okay, so we have the Dallas Stars here. I need to sim like I don't know three or four games. That's not a good start. That's Time an even worse start. Okay, that's an L. Three one L to the Dallas Stars. 
Brassois with a 964. Rupe Hint, second star of the game. Let's um, ah, just continue simming for now. I'll kind of save those up. We're at 87 overall. Did that happen in this video or the last one? I don't even know. Winnipeg Jets. 14th in the league. Here we go. First period. Nice. That's a good start. I'll take it. Great win. Great win. 29 shots for Winnipeg as well. First star for TJ. 965 save percentage. Solid. Same to the next game. Are we going to be in against the regs? No, we are not. Pavel is in. And he gets an L. That was a regulation L, unfortunately. I uh, didn't see what happened in that one, but it wasn't a regulation L. I think it was a win. That was Pavel as well. Got the pity pens. Let's see how we do in this contest. I'll sim one more after this. All right. Decent start. Ooh, okay. And, oh, overtime. Ah, oh, they got the better of us in overtime. Chris Tierney going to bury one. Both goalies played very well in that one, though. There you have it. And continue. One more game is what I will simulate. Then we'll check out the stats quick and call it. Conversation with our agent. What is up, sir? How you doing? How you been? Okay, let's see. Health brand, sure. I can't even choose any other answer. But Well, I could have chose star, but let's try a persuade. Ah, it worked. Incredible. Love to see it. Cool. That gets my brand up. I think we're, yeah, we're still in the hunt for that shutout. Haven't gotten it yet. So that X factor is on the line. And we're running out of daylight here. The amount of games is closing, that's for sure. Okay, that's not a good start. Great comeback in the second and an L. Unfortunate. Okay, I feel like we've been taking a lot of L's here. Maybe I'm crazy, but anyway. We're still fourth in the league. And we have a 248. 911 save percentage. Let's check out um, the stats. Trade deadline is right there. Hopefully we make some moves at the deadline. Guess we'll find out in the next video. But let's go to Stat Central, I believe. Yeah? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Got confused for a second. Okay, team stats. We are first in the division by three points. We do have one more game played than the Ducks, though. And the Golden Knights have one more game played than us, and they're three points behind, which is nice. So, Anaheim is definitely our primary competition right now. Entire league. Montreal still in first. And we are currently in fourth. So, that's, that's still solid. But we do have two games on the Panthers and the Devils. One game on the Avalanche and the Ducks. So, that should be taken into consideration. Player stats. McDavid has 62 and 61. So, point a game. Dreisaitl, 48. At least he's, you know, second now. Still a dash 14, though. Nuge, 46. 38 from Yamamoto, and then I'll just kind of go through the list here so you can see all the players if you're curious. And let's check out the goaltenders. TJ, 26, 12, and 6, 9, 11, 248. Pavel, 10, 9, and 0, 9, 14, 274. So there you go. Yeah, I'm uh, never wearing those jerseys again. They're done. They are finished.